Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. It is about 9.30 on a Saturday morning. And for the first time in like a whole year, maybe longer, I have literally nothing on my calendar for the day. So this is gonna be glorious. I have some time to tidy my room, sort my life out, do some admin and see where the day takes us. Alrighty, it is 11.05. I have been sitting here for literally an hour, just writing away on this little journal with this little fountain pen that I got on the other day. There's something so fun and so nice about morning journaling with some coffee, not a care in the world. I had some like yoga and meditation music playlist thingy on Spotify that made it feel really like nice and serene. One thing I like to do when I'm journaling is like ask questions to myself to be like, hmm, how am I feeling about this or this or that? Um, usually they are work related like something to do with the business because now that I have a team of like 14 people helping me with stuff uh, it is really really important for me to have clarity on what less specifically what I want and more like where we're actually going as a business because if I have a if I can paint a solid picture of the destination then the team can figure out a way to get there but if I'm a bit like shaky on like where we're actually trying to go then the team is going to be really really shaky on what they're doing because they need you know there's no like strong and stable leadership so a lot of my like business or work theme journaling is around trying to figure out where we're going and what we're doing rather than how we're doing it really. As the leader, my job is to figure out the destination rather than the <laughs> act of getting there. Yeah, okay, anyway, it's 10 past 11 now and I'm gonna have a shower, probably have another cup of coffee and then get started with doing some pottering around the house, uh, cleaning and tidying some stuff up. So let's go. I have here some chicken that my mum marinated before she went to Pakistan, so let's see if I can cook it in the air fryer. And we're going for a second cup of coffee. about how to build a YouTube channel as an example. It wouldn't feel authentic to me. Just listened to my friend Sahil's latest episode of Cold Wisdom, which is a series that he tells on his channel every day where he lies in a freaking tub of ice, ice cold water, and talks to the camera for like a few minutes. And there's something really nice about that. But this one is about embracing abnormality. And there's something he said in this that really struck a chord with me, which is that you can't fake it for decades. You can fake it for a few weeks, maybe months, maybe even years, but you can't fake it for decades. And so a lot of showing up with whatever we're doing is just embracing our authenticity and abnormality with the thing. And this very much ties to what I've been journaling about this morning around the YouTube channel and like where I want the business to go and stuff. And something that I've been thinking about a lot over the last few months, like what does the authentic, most authentic version of my YouTube channel look like? What does the most authentic version of these blogs look like? Um, and the most authentic version probably doesn't correlate with like what's currently working on the platform and the clickbaitiest title and the most retention editing and all that stuff. But the goal maybe is not to try and get the views. The goal is to keep on playing the game. This idea of the infinite game. Once you're playing your infinite game, then the only goal that makes sense is a goal where you're continuing to play the game for the long term, for literally decades. So this is something I want to journal about a little bit while I wait for the chicken to warm up, warm up in the air fryer. Like. What would it look like if my goal for YouTube was to just continue doing it for decades rather than to try and, I don't know, get a particular number of subscribers or a particular number of views? And I don't really have a goal as such for YouTube, but you know, like I talked about earlier, me not having a goal, me not having a destination or a vision for where I want the channel to go means that my team becomes quite like, oh, what do we do? We don't know what, we really know where this is going. So what I, coming back around, like what I personally take away from a lot of this content, a lot of these podcasts and stuff is questions. I think it's all about questions, the power of the right questions. So listening to Sahil's thing just now gave me the question, what would truly embracing authenticity in my YouTube channel and business look like? And secondly, what would it look like if my goal were to do this for decades rather than, you know, some more finite goal? He didn't specifically say, hey, you, in this video, you should ask yourself those questions. But those are the questions that emerged from emerged for me from watching this video. And so I'm going to journal about it now because it's like I love, I love getting questions like that that sort of nudge my thinking in a different way because the right question can genuinely change your life. All right, 
notes. I've written these down in the journal. Um, something sometimes if I'm doing, you know, I, I often find it more like expensive in terms of thinking to write the question in the middle of the page and then sort of like spider diagram it sort of out uh, rather than sort of writing linearly. This is like why I don't really like journaling and thinking in an app like Notion because it encourages very linear thinking with bullet points and stuff. Whereas something like a pen and paper journal or like, I don't know, Notability or whatever iPad app you want to use with a pencil encourages a little bit more like, or even on like digitally, something like Figma or Fig Jam lets you like draw boxes and arrows all over the place. And I find that that often leads to more creativity when it comes to divergent thinking than more linear thought process. All right, let's see what's happened with this air fryer. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks like really well cooked chicken. Thank you, mother, for marinating the chicken for me. If she's watching this, probably not. Time to dig in and think about these journaling prompts. Alrighty, it is now 4.20. And I've just been lazing around for the last goodness knows how long. Uh, had a call with um, the significant other, and that was very nice. And then I just sort of watched random YouTube videos. One strand of random YouTube videos I've been watching recently is uh, like day in the life type vlogs. I don't normally watch vlogs, but to get ideas for what to do with this vlog, <laughs> I've been watching some day in the life vlog type YouTube videos, which is kind of fun. Um, so there was this channel whose name escapes me, but she's like works on a cruise ship. That Those are just really, really well done videos that are just beautifully edited. And there's something wholesome and nice about these. Also went, went and rewatched some of Peter McKinnon's old vlogs to figure out like, what did I love about Peter McKinnon's vlogs? He hasn't done that many vlogs in a while. I'm just trying to figure out like, what, what do I want these vlogs to be like? A bit of a, bit of a meta game thing. This is a bit of a theme. Um, okay, so we still have some light. It's 4.20. What do I want to do? I sort of intended to do a bunch of tidying of the house. So I could just do that. last 10 minutes trying to clean up the freaking air fryer and my mom when you know when she left me the chicken I, I, I said to my mom look man you know there's no need to cook me any food because I'll just get takeaway and she was like no don't get takeaway takeaway is a waste of money so she very kindly marinated some chicken for me and I was like just use the air fryer and I was like isn't it annoying to clean she was like no it doesn't take very long it's taken me the last like I don't know seven minutes to clean the air fryer and it's still not that clean which is not the vibe because I don't know I am a strong believer that, well at least for me, I'm not saying this is how you should live your advice, if, if you're still watching this in this vlog. But at least the way I think about it, you know, I have a pretty high hourly rate. If I were to spend 10 minutes of focus time doing work, I could generate like thousand plus dollars worth of value from just doing that, if I was working on the right things. And so, the ROI of <laughs> me washing dishes for 7 minutes to 10 minutes, because I cooked my own meal, <laughs> sort of based on marinated chicken that my mom gave me. It's just not worth it. Like the hourly rate is just, it's just too high, which is why, you know, Sam Ovens would say, get a private chef. I've just listened to um, the Daily Stoic episode with Tim Ferriss, the first half of it. And in the first half of this first episode, the first like 20 minutes, half an hour or so, I took so many snips. I'm using the app Snipped. One of the big things that really stood out to me was they talk a lot about embracing an experimental mindset. Just like thinking in terms of experiments. Uh, oh, there's so much I want to say. Maybe I should do a proper video about this. Yeah, you know what? We're going to write a proper video about this tonight. Once I'm done cleaning the house, I'm going to take the trash out. I'm going to go to the service station to charge the car up. While I'm there, I'm going to have dinner. And then I'm going to write an, a main channel episode of Learn With Me, which is a series I've wanted to do, wanted to do for a while. And we'll see what happens. We're at long West Virginia Mount Sonoma Take me Alrighty, we are home. It is 9.38 p.m. and today has been a gloriously restful and chillaxing-y type day. Very little work done, some journaling, a bit of breakthroughs in like the format of the productivity course, um, some listening to a really good podcast, a bit of kind of 
compiling highlights and stuff from it. But this brings us to the end of the Saturday. I'm gonna brush my teeth, change into my pyjamas, and then do some reading before bed. So, thank you for joining along for this vlog. Um, again, I, if, you, if you've gotten this far, I'd love it if you could leave a comment, tell me what you like about these vlogs, what you don't like about these vlogs. Again, I always say this, but like, I still haven't figured out what the format should be or would be. So sometimes it's like a weekly thing, sometimes it's like a few days strung together, sometimes it's just a single day like today was. But it's, it's generally fun doing vlogs, I just want to try and figure out the best format that works for me, but that's also helpful for you guys. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a great evening, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.